Angels, do they exist? And if so, for what purpose? In the scriptures, from the book of Genesis all the way through to the book of Revelation, we see angels appearing to various people at various times for various reasons. More often than not, it was to deliver a message to them from God. Other times they appear to people to encourage them or even to protect them from harm. Now we know that these beings were not the frilly, pretty, effeminate figurines we put on top of our trees at Christmas because one of the first things they said was, fear not. Historically, many have testified to angelic visitations during times of distress or times of need. On a personal note, my mother once told me the story that when I was a very young child, I ran in front of a huge truck. To her, it seemed as, as if some invisible presence snatched me up, held me there and let me go once the truck was passed. At that time, my mother was an atheist at worst or an agnostic at best. A little while later, as a troubled youth, I remember waking up to see this being standing in my doorway. I couldn't identify this being because of the light that was shining all around it. The following morning, I told my mother that I had been visited by an angel, even though I'd never heard of such a thing. I have been at the bedside of many a dying person. Many of them have told me that they see deceased relatives or friends standing all around them. Others have told me that they see angelic beings. Some of these would never have believed in angels up until that point. A few years ago, I had my thyroid removed for various reasons. Usually when I undergo surgery, I remember counting to 10 and then waking up in the recovery room. On this occasion, however, I do remember very distinctly seeing Jesus standing at the foot of my bed with all his holy angels around me. And it was communicated to me that this was not my time, but I still had a task to complete. This was so vivid that when I woke up, I said to the doctor who was standing right next to me, I said, where is he? And he said, where is who? And I said, Jesus, he was just standing at the foot of my bed. The doctor looked puzzled and said, I think I'd better go call your wife. Angels, do they exist? And for what purpose? They do exist to encourage us, to protect us, and to lead us when we need that specific message from God.